I think we are close to an opportunity where a generation of people will never have to experience Parkinson's disease because of advancements we make. Hi, my name is Dr. James Beck. I'm the Chief Scientific Officer at the Parkinson's Foundation. The Parkinson's field is really advancing very quickly when it comes to research. I haven't seen something like this in quite some time. We're finally getting to a point where our knowledge about the cell biology involved in Parkinson's disease, why cells are misfunctioning, why individual neurons are dying, and utilizing that data in ways I haven't seen before. We see a number of companies which are beginning to move forward with early stage efforts to ameliorate those problems. We also see the researchers we're funding taking advantage of that knowledge and seeing if they can push it further in order to better understand Parkinson's and hopefully come up with novel solutions to the disease. So AI is still at an early stage, not only in our own lives, but also within the realm of research. AI is playing a role in helping to understand how proteins fold. Proteins are much like pieces of paper that are flat and plain, but when they fold, like an origami, they become interesting structures, and that structure gives them their function inside of a cell. AI is also beginning to play a role in analyzing data sets and trying to understand, using limited information, what predictions we can make based upon that. And some companies are actually beginning to utilize that. And I think we will see some more progress in the next couple of years, where AI will begin to have a larger role in the impact of not only the researchers we're funding, but within pharma space as well. Without the research, there would be no opportunity for a cure. We've been around too long as an organization. Our organization is over 50 years old, and it's a recognition that we have yet to solve Parkinson's disease. This is why we have a real commitment to understanding the basic biology of Parkinson's disease. It is a long game, and we need to have that continued investment because we don't know where a cure may come from. That said, even if we were to advance with a therapy which could potentially stop or slow Parkinson's disease, it's going to be the first draft. There are going to be better ones that will follow on. What could be even be more exciting is preventing it altogether. I think we are close to an opportunity where a generation of people will never have to experience Parkinson's disease because of advancements we make as a result of that. Diversity in research is something that's incredibly important to us on many different levels. One of the things we think about at its face, diversity in topics. We don't know where a cure will come from. So what we do as an organization is we fund the best science that's out there. So when our calls for grants come in, we evaluate broadly what is the best science and how it can make an impact in the lives of people with Parkinson's disease. Not only do we evaluate grant applications and other research we fund using a scientific advisory board or a review panel, but we include people with Parkinson's in the process. It's people with Parkinson's can help adjudicate and tell us what is really important to a person with Parkinson's disease. What do they think is going to be a priority for them and can make a difference in their lives and their disease? Diversity is also important in not only what we fund, but also in the people who conduct the research. So we make an effort to have a broad outreach to different ideas on how to tackle Parkinson's disease. And we welcome people from all walks of life as part of that process. And we find that novel ideas are not just limited to one geography or one location. That is one of the reasons why we fund internationally as part of our research. Diversity is also really important when it comes to understanding the biology of Parkinson's disease, particularly something as complicated as the genetic architecture of Parkinson's disease. People with different genetic backgrounds are incredibly important in order to understand how Parkinson's disease may be caused, how it may be prevented based upon a person's individual history. We think about the genetics of Parkinson's disease, we're not only talking about a person's family and all those individuals who could be affected by it, but we're also talking about novel therapies that may come based upon a person's unique genetic status. When more individuals participate participate in genetic research, for instance, is a way to ensure that as novel findings come, we have a broad understanding and then can apply that understanding to people regardless of their ancestry or their color or their background. Research is incredibly important for the future of Parkinson's disease. The foundation has three different pillars, care, research, and education. Care is incredibly important. It helps people live better lives today, and we can't discount that. But care is not enough. It's not going to stop Parkinson's disease, and it's not going to halt its progression. This is where investments in research, both in the short term and in the long term, are going to be the way our organization, our community, is going to be able to make a difference in the lives of people living with Parkinson's disease. When we look at individuals we funded as part of the Parkinson's Foundation, we see those scientists who devote their lives, their 
careers to trying to understand Parkinson's disease, trying to make a difference in the lives of people living with PD. They're there as beacons within the community to really advance the field forward. They're carrying the torches into the dark of night in order to lead to a better understanding of Parkinson's disease. What we need to do is to recognize that we have humans, there are people involved as part of the research process, and be able to give them the support they need to stay in the field, to be able to devote their lives to Parkinson's disease research, to make a difference to everyone who's living with Parkinson's disease today and who may develop it in the future.